If you are extremely fortunate, financial professionals and previous lottery winners can advise you on what to do if you win the lotto. Hey mate, this is the Millionaire Post, and in today's video we'll go through a step-by-step -step guide on what to do after winning the lottery in the United States. The first thing you should do if you win the lottery is to safeguard your ticket. Take precautions to safeguard your winning lottery ticket before doing anything else. You'll be right back where you started if you lose it and can't establish you're the rightful owner. Make physical and digital copies of the ticket at the very least, preferably in two locations, an encrypted cloud storage account and an external drive. Invest in a home lockbox or safe if necessary, or place the ticket in a bank safe deposit box. Also, don't quit your job or spread the word about your good fortune straight away. As tempting as it may seem, the time between realizing you have a winning lottery ticket and stepping up to claim your prize is not the best time to quit your job. In fact, you shouldn't inform anyone outside of your immediate family, especially your co-workers, who are prone to gloat about your good fortune. If your state's laws allow it, you should remain anonymous after securing your ticket. When word gets out that you've suddenly become wealthy, you'll be bombarded with pleas for help from everyone from charities to long-lost relatives and friends, not to mention all the financial experts fighting for your business. So check your state's rules to determine whether you can get around them all by remaining anonymous. The rules regarding winner publicizing differ by state. In New York, for example, the identities of the winners are made public. In other cases, you may be able to keep your anonymity by transferring your earnings to a trust or a limited liability corporation. Prize winners have between 180 days and one year from the drawing date to claim their prize, depending on where they purchase the ticket. So use that time to learn about the state's rules and chart a plan. I understand that anyone who wins the lottery is ecstatic about the prize, but don't rush to claim your prize. Don't go out and claim your lotto prizes the moment you get your ticket. This is important for two reasons. First, claiming your ticket within a week of the announcement risks causing more commotion than necessary if your prize is large enough to draw media attention. Second, and perhaps more crucially, giving yourself at least a week to claim your prize gives you plenty of time to prepare for whatever comes next. If you wish, you should be able to wait much longer than a week. Most lotteries give winners 6 to 12 months to claim their wins, but check the rules of the issuing authority to make sure you have as much time as you think you do. Before you cash the ticket, consult a tax professional before making a serious choice concerning your win. You have the option of receiving the prize money in one lump sum or having it paid out in 30 installments over 29 years as an annuity. When you get a lump sum payment, you must pay tax on the entire amount right away. You are only taxed on an annuity as you receive payments. People who have a hard time keeping track of their expenditures may appreciate the discipline of getting money as an annuity. However, there are several disadvantages to this payout method. You should compare the annuity's effective yield to what you could make if you took the money as a lump amount, paid the taxes, and invested the proceeds. Another factor to consider is whether choosing an annuity may leave your family without the funds needed to pay estate taxes if you pass away before the 30-year period expires. People usually get life insurance plans to offset the estate tax liability in such cases. When you claim your lottery reward, you have 60 days to consider the benefits and drawbacks. During this time, ask experts to crunch the numbers and assist you in determining which payment method is ideal for you. If you feel uneasy about any advice you receive from the first professional you hired, do not hesitate to seek a second opinion, even if you must pay for the specialist's time by the hour. You can afford it now. Because your life will never be the same after you win the lottery, it is recommended that you change your address and go unlisted for additional security and peace of mind. You won't be able to dodge people with their hands out once you claim your prize. You'll hear from folks you haven't thought of in years, distant cousins, long-lost buddies, college roommates, and even co-workers from five jobs ago, not to mention unethical financial advisors and lawyers. Though it won't stop the flood, lowering your profile will make it a little easier to deal with. You ought to change any phone numbers associated with your immediate family to new unlisted numbers as soon as possible. While your old phone number will remain online, it will no longer work. Due to the large number of websites with publicly available contact information for U.S. people, completely delisting your address is challenging. However, using a post office box as your physical address for all correspondence can make it more difficult to pop up in a random search. Deactivate your social media accounts and change your email address. After that, you should take steps to safeguard your assets. People with a lot of money need to be careful not to lose their assets to creditors. Disgruntled spouses and ex-spouses, as well as persons who win cases against you, are among them. People may hunt for excuses to sue you if they believe you have a lot of money. The best defense is to create a range of hurdles that make creditors' access to your money and property difficult, if not impossible. Asset protection tactics can range from depending on state law exemptions to using trusts and family-limited partnerships or limited liability firms to create numerous barriers. 
it may be possible to use several different tactics either independently or in combination. The next step after securing your assets should be to review your estate plan. If you suddenly become wealthy as a result of your victories, this may be the first time you've had to think about the estate tax. However, the new tax legislation of 2012 gives you more options than you've ever had before. As of 2016, each person has a $5,450,000 tax-free transfer maximum, which can be used during their lifetime, after death, or a combination of both. So, if you want to share some of your good fortunes with friends and family, now is the moment. Pay off all your debts before entering the investment industry. There is no better investment than paying off debts, as we all know. Whether you have credit card debt or a mortgage, your rate of return is equal to the loan's interest rate. When you pay off a dollar of debt, you no longer owe that one dollar. You can't predict whether a dollar will grow or shrink when you invest it. Finally, invest wisely to make your price last and grow. Experts advise putting the money in secure, short-term investments for the first six months and not touching it. Then have your advisors set together an investment portfolio, split half and half between equities such as stocks and fixed income like bonds. Don't invest in something you don't comprehend or anything that seems too good to be true. To sum it all, don't do anything radical for the first six months after winning the lotto, such as quitting your job, buying a residence in Europe, upgrading to a luxury car, or amassing a collection of Birkin handbags. Meanwhile, set aside a certain amount of money for splurges. It's only normal to want to enjoy your good fortune. Finally, save your major purchases for a rainy day. Even if you win the lotto and have more money in your bank account than you did before, stick to your budget. It may require some self-control to keep your wins and not go on a spending binge, especially if you're not used to having a lot of money. One strategy to limit your spending is to spend only your income rather than your principal. That concludes today's video. Subscribe to the channel and switch on alerts to be notified of new uploads. This is The Millionaire's Post, and we'll see you in the future video.